Hi, this is Susan from Susan Newman Design at We're at Mission 50 in Hoboken learning WordPress tips. Today we're going to learn how to upload WordPress widgets. We're on a website that's using WordPress for its content management system. And now we're going to learn how to upload WordPress widgets. So if you go to your dashboard, you're going to see under Appearance you have widgets and under that you have plugins. And so you want to go to plugins and you're either going to search by a term such as recent tweets or if you've been somewhere on the web and someone told you about a great plugin and you downloaded it, uh, it would have, have put a zip file on your desktop. So instead you would just click on upload and then you would install that widget. Now let's go to all the plugins because I want to explain the difference. Some of the plugins are for functionality on your site such as contextual related posts. This is something that adds functionality to your WordPress site and that is um, putting related posts underneath an actual post so you can give people more content. Oh, I love this post. Oh, here's one that is similar. Why don't you read this one too? You know, whereas dynamic widgets is specifically for your sidebar and that helps you decide what content in the on the sidebar you want on which page. So for example, if you wanted the Facebook like box only on the home page and the contact page or maybe just on the blog page you could designate it for that whereas you could put recent tweets uh, on all the the sidebars uh, you know appearing on all the pages so let's take a look at what the widget area looks like so once you install these widgets they come up in the left side here and what you can do is just uh, take one and drag it, drop it into your main sidebar area over here. And so some of the ones that I have already put in here are the social media widget, which is where you would load all your different social media addresses. And that way you can load a nice long little bar of all the little icons and then people can follow you on social media. Uh, text is when you want to just put something in that's uh, you know original content that you want to put in there so maybe it's your um, email marketing form maybe it's a headline that you want to put in there or your latest book that you want to sell uh, so a text spot would be a place where you could put uh, your own original content here is the Facebook like widget recent tweets recent posts archives, you could add a blog role, all different kinds of things and then let's take a look at how all of that shows up in the sidebar. So you'll see at the top here we have the little bar of my, of my social media icons and then my radio show so people can listen, some ads going to different things uh, my email marketing form. Uh, so you can put all different kinds of things in the sidebar by adding widgets. I hope that tip was helpful. For more information, visit Susan Newman Design. Thank you.